Okay, here's what's happening. I got a tin of this delightful Samuel Goweth. You're going to have to tell me if I'm holding this upside right, Drake. There you go. Good job. I love having sighted help. This is the Samuel Goweth Cuckoo. Now, the only thing I've ever heard about this is one guy wrote on Snuff House that his wife hated it or his girlfriend hated it because it made his breath stink. That's a pretty high recommendation. It comes in these vacuum-sealed shoe polish tins. They're very difficult to open. May I have your knife for a moment, sir? Yep. We are going to try using this big bastard <laughs> to open it. But I'm going to let the sighted guy play with the sharp tool. The trick is just to pry gently yeah. around the edge, try to break the seal. Let's watch. I'm going to turn this. Drake, are you on camera now? Yeah, I'm on camera. He does it right away. Watch this shit. And it's gonna, not working. He's going to fucking poke me right in the <laughs> forehead with the thing. No, it's not working. Oh, you <laughs> loser! Give me the fucking thing. Give me, give me the fucking <laughs> Hang on a second. Bam! 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 <laughs> it didn't help. It didn't help! It's not opening! God dang it! Was... We'll be right back after we get this tin open. <laughs> hang, hang on a second. Okay, here we go. We've got a can opener. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to put out my eye. You know that, right? <laughs> Like, there's, there's, you know, the telephone's right there. You can call 911, because I'm going to end up with a frickin'... This ain't even working. Oh, I'm so slow and retarded. Let me see that. No, you just... It's not it's not fitting under the edge. That's the problem. We'll be right back. We're going to keep trying here. All it took was brute force. We got her. This is the Samuel Gallup. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Yeah, I'm going to try to get it open the rest of the way. Yeah. Oh, once you break the seal. What do we got inside, Mr. Drake? Pretty dark. Dark. Dark looks moist. It smells like baby poop. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. But it smells like chocolatey baby poop or something. This is a very strange smell. It's a Kendall snuff, that's for sure. There's a little something else in there. A little floral something, hard to put my finger on. And speaking of fingers, we're going to run barefoot through our snuff, as we usually do. It is a medium grind, um, fairly moist, kind of sticks to my thumb there. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a big-ass bump of this and hope I don't die. From the baby poop smell that first came out. Hey, seriously, it's weird. No, in the nose it's different. It's very different. You can take a pinch if you'd like. I'm going to grab a, one of these disposal hankies here. Clean off my nose a little. What am I smelling? Baby powder. Yeah, there's a little baby powder, but there's also a leathery smell. Yeah. It smells like, like new saddle leather. And a little like bit of baby powder. Yep. Yeah, like a shoe store. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It's like walking into a shoe store. It's not unpleasant. And the nicotine, yowza. I'm getting nicotine right away. You know how you can tell, Drake, if you got nicotine? You get a, you can feel the pulse right here in your nose. It, it pulses, it, it's sort okay. of feeling. Yeah. You getting that? Yep. Yeah. Not bad. I was ready to hate this when I first opened the tin. I mean, the problems with opening the tin notwithstanding. Uh, by the way, in case uh, it, you didn't see the actual opening, but what I did to break the seal was I took it like this and just pounded it on the tabletop, kept rotating it, and then I was able to crack that vacuum seal and uh, open the tin without terribly damaging the can. Um, on the squiddy scale, where one is horrible... And five is the best you'll ever get. I'm giving this a two. But some people are really going to like this. This could really be an all-day 
everyday nicotine replacement snuff. It's very complex. The floral in it, the baby powder scent that we were talking about, is real, real subtle. And the overall effect is a really pleasant new leather scent, like saddle leather or walking into a shoe store. Yeah, I might even give this a three. I'll be, I tell you what, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll upgrade this to a three out of five. Um, I think this is one that I could get used to using. I don't think it would be an everyday for me. But for a once in a while, you just need a little tobacco with a pleasant back scent and some good nicotine. This is going to take care of you very, very well. Samuel Goweth from Kendall, England. The snuff is called Cuckoo or Cuckoo or Cuckoo. I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm Cuckoo for something. Oh, it, but let's let's talk about this drip. Are you getting the drain yet? No. I mean, not a lot of it. The drain is cardboardy. It's not bitter. I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna do another hit of this because it's it's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, it gets a three, easy three. I was prepared to hate it. It burns a little. <coughs> oh, I took it too deep. <coughs> oh wow. Ooh, it stings a little bit. Worth it. Subtle scent of baby powder to start. As it develops in the nose, you get more of a leather set. This is good. Three out of five from the dank basement with my friend, Mr. Drake. Uh, and the talking computer and all. From the dank basement, this is your Wicked Uncle Squinty again. Thanks for watching. And be sure to watch for that music video, Plata por Oro, which will debut very soon right here on this channel and on Facebook. Thanks.